Hey, what's up guys? I'm Theo Joe, and today we're gonna answer a question that maybe you already answered yourself. Should you get an SSD? Are they better than hard drives? In what ways? What are the advantages and disadvantages of both? And well, spoiler alert, I'm gonna answer the question right now, and that is yes, you should get an SSD. They are amazing, and the most important thing is though, why? Why might you get one? Would you use it with a hard drive? Why you might not necessarily wanna only get a solid state? We're gonna answer all that because that's just as important. So hopefully anyone watching was not convinced by me just saying, yes, you should go out and buy one, but rather you need an explanation. So we're gonna look at four criteria comparing solid state drives, SSDs, and hard drives, HDDs. And those criteria are performance, reliability, capacity, and cost, of course. So let's begin with performance, probably the most important factor that anyone's gonna look at next to price. And the truth is that solid state drives almost always are just gonna blow hard drives out of the water in terms of performance. And hard drives are usually gonna be the bottleneck of a computer. That's the slowest part of any computer, and even with a solid state drive, they're a lot better, but they're still gonna be kind of a bottleneck with your computer, because if you think about it, the memory bandwidth for your RAM is multiple gigabytes a second. Your computer can handle a lot of info, but it has to read off the hard drive in maybe 100 megabytes a second. And with a solid state drive, you're gonna get about 500 megabytes a second, which means that you're gonna be able to access all the stuff on your computer a lot faster, everything's gonna load faster, you're gonna be able to write things faster, everything is gonna be faster. And the reason it's faster is because a solid state drive uses flash memory, it doesn't have to use a mechanical device to search through the drive platters and get the data. It's all electronic, it can go right to any point of data, grab it off instantly. There's no, you don't have to even worry about fragmentation on solid state drives because the files could be spread out all over the drive, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be accessed just as fast as if they were right next to each other physically on the drive. Whereas on a hard drive, that is a problem because there is an arm that has to physically move to and from each piece of data. So that means it's gonna take time and you don't have to worry about that with a solid state. This also means that even if you install a ton of programs, you fill up that drive with a bunch of junk, it's not really gonna run any slower no matter how long you use the drive with some caveats we're gonna talk about. With a hard drive, you use it a ton, you get fragments all over the drive, data spread out, the arm's gonna be going crazy trying to load one program a solid state drive, it doesn't even break a sweat. And I should mention even in the case of high RPM hard drives like 10K or even 15K RPM drives, those are still not gonna be as fast as a solid state because you still have to move the drive. It's just not gonna be able to compete no matter how fast you spin that drive. It's really the arm, I think, that is gonna be the limiting factor in any case. Now, really tying in with a lot of the stuff I just talked about is reliability. For the same reasons that a solid state drive is very fast, it's also very reliable. So like I said, there's no moving parts in a solid state drive, which means there's very few points of failure. Whereas on a hard drive, you got that spinning platter, you got multiple of those, you got the arm moving, it can vibrate and throw things off. It, a lot can go wrong with a hard drive, whereas a solid state, there's nothing moving. There's nothing that can get jostled around to an extent, obviously, if you bash it with a hammer, it's probably gonna break, but you know what I mean. Theoretically, if you just have a solid state drive just sitting there, there's not really a reason it would ever fail. Whereas a hard drive will maybe wear down, the metal components brushing up against each other, it's going to eventually fail. Hard drives, you must expect them to fail. They will fail, they always do. There's no invulnerable hard drive Whereas a solid state, okay, everything breaks down over time, but you can probably get by without expecting your solid state drive to die. Although it is possible, so of course, always back up. Now, that being said, SSDs are not perfect. There are a few disadvantages compared to hard drives, but I think those are outweighed by the benefits. One of the main ones is that a flash memory cell can only be written to a certain number of times. So as you use the solid state drive more and more and more, it could theoretically slow down if a lot of those cells get used, those are gonna slow down and it might not perform as good as it did when you first got it. However, there is typically software built into the drivers for these drives that 
handles all that and distributes the data evenly in such a way that not any one of the particular cells is going to slow down or if one of the cells maybe does break then it writes that off and says don't use that cell anymore kind of like what you get with a bad sector on a hard drive it does the same thing so you don't really have to worry about those bad sectors unless you're writing a ton of data and just using up every single cell and some tests have shown that typically a solid state drive is going to start to get problems after you write about maybe a hundred or several hundred terabytes worth of data. So you would have to write as much data to fill up that hard drive hundreds of times before you would ever see any issues from just writing to it for it being flash memory. So even though it is something to keep in mind, I think for most people, for the average person, it's a non-issue. You're never gonna even notice the slowdown but there is one exception maybe I can think of, like if you're editing huge video files or you're doing a lot of work in programs that need a scratch disk. If you're not familiar with that, it's basically a drive where a program will use to really rapidly write and read data from just to have kind of a cache. And if you're using a ton of data with video files or something that can be quite massive, then yeah, that program might be writing and reading a lot. And in that case, you probably do want a hard drive as a scratch disk because it can handle a lot more rewrites than an SSD. But other than that, I don't think you'd ever see a problem. Another small disadvantage of SSDs, which can affect reliability, is because it's flash memory, that flash memory has to be receiving power. If it goes too long without being booted up, you could start to lose data. Those flash memory cells aren't gonna be able to store that information. Whereas a hard drive uses magnetic fields and that is a physical property using a permanent magnet. And even though hard drives do start to lose magnetivity, I believe it's gonna be much faster on a solid state drive. Still, I believe there's things built into the drive like maybe batteries that would mitigate that. You'd probably have to leave the solid state drive unplugged for a year or more before you'd ever see a problem. But again, it is a thing you have to consider. Now the next main category, size, is another one where hard drives are typically gonna win out. If you need a lot of storage, you have to go with a hard drive. There's no other way around it. SSDs can maybe go up to about four terabytes, I think right now, that's the biggest you can get. And those are gonna cost you $1,000 plus. Whereas hard drives, I think the biggest one is made by Seagate now at 12 terabytes and costs just under 500. So obviously, if you need a ton of data storage, a hard drive is the way to go. A solid state drive, I mean, you could theoretically buy a bunch of them, but you're just gonna have to pay an unreasonable amount of money when you could get the same job done with a hard drive, unless for some reason you need a ton of extremely fast storage, which in that case, you could probably go with a RAID configuration with a hard drive anyway, and maybe get around the same performance. And that kind of also ties in with the next section, price, because if you get a solid state drive that isn't huge enough to handle all your files, well, that's an extra cost you need to get another hard drive. And like I said, solid state drives are already gonna be a lot more expensive. But if you think about it, I would consider that the usual situation anyway, where you would buy both. You'd have the SSD, as the boot drive, maybe put your big heavy hitter programs on there that take forever to load, and then for everything else, you just shove it on the hard drive. I don't think if you're using a desktop computer, it probably is best to get both. I don't know if you would really wanna get just a solid state drive unless you know you're not gonna need that data. Or maybe you do already have a hard drive, you don't wanna get a big SSD, you could get a very small one that's just big enough to hold Windows, and just use it to boot Windows purely and get that fast boot up and the operating system will run fast and then just have the programs run off the drive. Now there are a couple other benefits to solid state drives that I'll mention. The form factor, usually you see these in 2.5 inch form factor, which is smaller than the typical 3.5 inch form factor on a hard drive. And that also means that they're gonna fit in really any laptop. So if you need a very fast storage, you don't have to worry about getting the right form factor, they're all gonna be 2.5 inch, you can pop it in your laptop, no problem. Also, a solid state drive, because it's smaller and just because of the nature of it, it's gonna generate less heat. Whereas a hard drive, you know, if you have a ton of them in your computer or you have one that's working all the time, it's gonna generate more heat 
and it might not be a problem if you have a lot of airflow, it's just something to consider. So finally, I think I wanna answer who specifically should get an SSD, even though I kinda of did that before, we're gonna be more specific here. But before I do that, I wanna give a big thanks to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you need anything from a web domain to a web page or online store, you can make your next move with Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform, so you'll never have to worry about installing or upgrading any complicated software, making it easy, for example, to create an online store using award-winning templates. They look great. And you can also even manage inventory and orders. Of course, if you want, you can also set up and transfer your domain through Squarespace if you already have one. And you can actually start a free trial today at squarespace.com and go to squarespace.com slash theojoe to get 10% off your first purchase. So to answer the main question of the video, should you get an SSD? I wanna say a blanket statement, which is I think most people, yes, you should get an SSD. I don't think there's anyone who could not benefit from one. I personally have said this before, I think an SSD is the best upgrade you can make for your computer, better than RAM better than a better CPU even, literally, I'm not kidding. If you have only been using hard drives your whole life and when you switch to SSD, it's gonna be like night and day, believe me. So in summary, the answer is yes. If you guys wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here, you can just click on those. And if you wanna subscribe, I make a few new videos every week. I'd love to hear from you guys. So let me know down in the comments section what you think. Do you have your SSD? Was it somehow maybe not up to your expectations? I would really be surprised. And if you wanna follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, all that, those links are also in the description as usual. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.